So, we meet again, huh? That's because you keep coming back. I'm Junpei. What's your name? You live around here? Hey, hey, wait! Your hand! I said wait! You're hurt! with you. Why don't you mind your own business? But you're bleeding for crying out loud. Come on, show me your hand. You need to put some pressure on it. Why are you in such a panic? Are you crazy? Anyone would freak out over this. You need to see a doctor. You want me to go with you? Uh, you're weird. Chidori. Uh huh? That's my name. You asked, right, Junpei? I'm almost done with the picture. I doubt you'll understand it. But if you want to see it, then you know where to find me. Welcome back.
This facility is very similar to a temple. It is a shrine. Now that I'm actually here, I sense mysterious presences. But they are markedly different than shadows. Well then, 
I shall first observe the local traditions and worship at the shrine. I finally finished presenting my offering. Though I usually do not reside in this world, I wonder if I too may receive divine grace. I wonder, this system of monetary offerings is very similar to that of the wishing fountain. There are many places in your world for supplicants to request good fortune. You live in a wondrous place. Could those paper strips tied there be... As I thought, they're paper fortunes. I've heard of this game, where people entrust their destiny to a slip of paper and exult in the risk. I see, there are many possible destinies written on them. Well then, I'd like to experiment with this for myself. Please wait here while I work on obtaining all of them. Excuse me, I've been curious ever since we arrived. But what are those things over there? Memory serves. These are a slide and a jungle gem. The inner self is exposed to any true god. Their magnanimity of spirit excuses all. And that being the case... Intriguing. One must first claw one's way to the top before relaxing in luxury. Playground equipment teaches a profound lesson on the true way of the world. That was a lot of fun. Now, could you please instruct me in the use of this jungle gym? I can't get out. Today was even more enjoyable than our other excursions out. To be honest, I've wondered lately, is this world enjoyable to me simply because of the novelty of the stimuli it presents? It could also be that I, well, Perhaps I may, in truth, be enjoying our time together because we are together. In any event, I believe I'll open negotiations with my master to bring a horizontal bar into our room. I'd like to accompany you again sometime, if you wouldn't mind.
Hey, Fuka, is I guess ready? Ready for what? She said she wanted to go to school, so I said something to Mitsuru Senpai as a joke. But the chairman overheard and thought it was a good idea, so as of tomorrow, she'll be a junior. Seriously? He's down with that? He said something about studying her behavior in a social environment. Well, as far as I'm concerned, it's a great idea. Just look at how cute she is in that uniform. The camouflage Fuka-san has provided me with seems to be the appropriate size. It looks very natural on you. No one will suspect a thing. But why does he want you to go to school? It's not like there's anything special about it. With the commencement of the second semester, I intend to synchronize my schedule with the other members. If I were to remain here on standby, it could delay our deployment. Therefore, I request to accompany our squad leader. Delay our deployment? Won't you going to school create more problems? I will make any necessary adjustments as problems arise. No, no. 
He said, "I want to go to school too." Sorry, Korochan, you have to stay here. 